Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Well, nice to have you on the stage. So Paul Kane is joining us. I guess you're based in Cambridge, right? Based uh, in Cambridge. That's right. Uh, you know, lovely city. Uh, and uh, so he's with Flex Enable, and he'll be telling us about AR ambient dimming films and other flexible liquid crystal optics for AR VR. So yeah. So whenever you're ready, please share your slides. So yes. Good. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. So I, I'll talk about flexible liquid crystal optics um, for. AR ambient dimming primarily, but also about other flexible liquid crystal optics, uh, why they're needed and how um, when it comes to flexible active optics and their manufacturing, low temperature manufacturing is the key to unlocking many of the advantages, um, such as the ability to 3D biaxially curve these films um, so they can follow the contours of other surfaces in the, in the products. But before I do, let me just give a brief introduction to Flex Enable. We are based in Cambridge, where I am in the UK. We're a team of about 60, uh, mostly scientists and engineers who developed this technology. And that technology is the, really the recipe and ingredients for manufacturing uh, liquid crystal optics and organic transistors on optically ideal plastic films. And to do that, using processes that are compatible with um, existing display manufacturing lines. So you can take an existing amorphous silicon display fab and repurpose it to manufacture flexible liquid crystal optics, which is something we're doing, uh, working with fabs on right now. This um, entire process is done at low temperature. So every step within the manufacturing process is undertaken at less than 100 degrees Celsius. And that allows us to access some materials that couldn't be used in such a process were that not the case. That's one of the advantages of this approach. Um, finally, we have in Cambridge a 14-inch prototype line, which really mirrors the same capabilities that you'd see in a, um, in a display fab in terms of uh, sputtering and photolithography and other coating and, and patterning processes. And the, the resulting flexible liquid crystal cells bring um, attributes that are needed in many applications um, and there are five here, which I'm not going to go through today. Today's focus will be on really on the, the top left, the ambient dimming and the tunable lenses. But really, these are all examples of cases where um, flexible liquid crystal cells are needed to either um, modulate, uh, steer or focus the light that passes through those films um, and to do it without adding any thickness or weight um, to the product. And so, as I say, I will focus on primarily ambient dimming and I'll touch on tunable liquid crystal lenses towards the end uh, of, the, of the talk. So first of all, why, why flexible liquid crystal optics? I mean, liquid crystal cells have been around for decades. Um, we all own them, probably all in, in the form of TVs or, or, or laptop displays. Um, but there are other uses of them as well in terms of optical switches. Um, but they're made on glass and glass liquid crystal cells in many of the use cases I've just briefly highlighted are either too thick, too heavy, too fragile or just too flat for, the, for unlocking the, all the advantages that are needed in those particular um, use cases. And in particular, these, these properties of doing it on plastic, building these cells on ultra thin plastic films instead of glass allows the cells to be, of course, very thin. Uh, very, that makes them very light. That means they can be wrapped around surfaces such as around a cylinder, but more than that, they can be wrapped around biaxially curved surfaces um, such as that of a sphere. And I will talk a, a bit about that. And then finally, because they're um, because they are so thin, they can be stacked together. They can be laminated together or stacked together in other ways, either to increase the dynamic range of a particular optical function or just to um, increase the the range of functions that the that the kind of compound stack of films offers. Um, and so in particular reference to AR um, and VR um, headsets and shown here by a simplified diagram for an AR example, these sorts of films, these active liquid crystal cells um, have the potential to play ro many roles in um, AR headsets, but in particular here, um, and what we are focused on is um, the, the, the item shown in orange and blue, that is uh, tunable lenses that will allow the the virtual object that's produced by a waveguide um, to be moved around in terms of its uh, focal length so that you can focus on objects in the in the near or far distance 